Hey guys, we're the Unconventional Brothers and we're here to give you a quick review on the air brakes and the Armigas. So, uh, let's get to it quick. Uh, what I really liked on these was the field of view when you put them on. Your peripherals don't really catch the outside of the goggles. You can see a lot wider. I like the uh, lens chaining system where you just pull up and pull and you can do it very quickly. You pop it out and in 30 seconds to a minute, you have it done. Uh, another great thing about this is the uh, foam that goes on your face. It's very comfortable once you've used it a few times and just, you know, very, very good. Um, so that's what I liked about the air brakes. Now, one thing I did dislike was that this one, this air brake didn't come with a nose piece. It's probably because it's an older version. Um, but, uh, you know, it's, you're still gonna get roosted regardless, so it's not that big of a deal. But that was one downside. The Armigas did come with the nose piece, but the nose piece, when you go to change the lens, uh, kind of makes it a little bit difficult when you go put it on. Like if you look here, we were never able to like properly put this part back on, unfortunately. Um, so I actually broke mine trying to put it back on. So the, this, the lens changing system isn't as good. Um, and the foam really kind of scratch, like would, irritate my skin when I was using it. Whether I loosened it all the way or tightened it, it just wasn't very good once I got sweaty. Even though it has the vents that's supposed to make it not fog up as much and not get as much sweat on the foam. Um, but uh, all in all, the Armigas is still great goggles uh, for the price point. Um, yeah, like you were saying, um, the Armigas, they're really good for their price. They have the ear vents like you see. The Oakley's do not have that, which do cause him to fog up for me. That's just me personally. That's because he never takes his goggles yeah. off when we're trail riding. That's he, also we stop and he doesn't pull them off. That's also why. But like I said, the posts, the posts are really like they're skinny. These they're are flimsy yeah. compared to the air brakes. Mm -hmm. I actually broke one on mine. Yeah. He broke one, which says a lot, you know. And the nose piece on these ones are actually really good because I don't get roosted as much when I do these, so I prefer these for chair riding, just me personally with the nose piece. But I can't say if these had the nose piece, I would rather wear these. And let's talk about the pros on these ones. They have bulkier um, poles, like I said. The cons is that they don't have any vents and they have a wider field of view. And honestly, these feel a lot better on your face. Yeah, so uh, the price point on these are anywhere from like 130 to 170 um, and you know they have different colorways uh, they have special lenses too that only Oakley makes for their goggles which are very good I use them on my buddy's goggles and it was night and day difference between the hypervision on the Armigas now I will tell you that I bought these for a hundred dollars um, and mine for a hundred dollars and it came with the hyper lenses and that was on Amazon. I don't know if that's the price anymore. I checked today, they were 120 on the 100% website. But, uh, you know, their highest quality for $120, while these for the highest quality, 160. Um, and, you know, it's different price points. Not, not everybody wants to ball out on goggles. You know, it, they're important, but to a certain extent. But you, if you want the vented ones, like he mentioned, you can buy the mountain bike ones. It's a lot better. Uh, it doesn't fog up as much. Um, and the new ones that I saw on the Oakley website are coming with the nose piece. Um, and so, yeah, so the price point on these, you know, it ranges. The lenses for you to change are anywhere from $30 to $60. The uh, special Oakley lenses for low vis and sunny days. Um, and while these, you can buy the whole set for, um, you know, $100, $120. But I have seen Oakley have clear lens ones going for $75, $80 uh, with some weird colorways or just, you know, uh, normal colorways, I would say. So all in all, I choose the Oakley Airbrake over the Armigas. Like you said, all in all, I would pick these as well. But if you want a good budget one, you're just starting off, I would go with the Armigas. So if you want to splurge a little bit of money, go with the Oakleys. But if you have like a little of a little bit of budget, I would go with these ones. For sure, yeah. Um, or you can do what I did. Find somebody who's sponsored, isn't using them, got them, and uh, wants to sell them. 
bought these for $60 and bought mine for $80, so $140, which was cheaper than when I bought each of these 100% uh, new. So, you know, there's ways around it. Um, I would say give both of them a try, but I will also say that I have buddies who ride 100% Stratas and uh, they wouldn't change it for the uh, Oakley Air Brakes or the 100% uh, Armigas because of the price point and they uh, tried my goggles and they didn't like it. So um, that's just one thing for you to consider. But I will say that most people that try the Oakley Air Brakes will say these are the ones. Yep. Well. Thank you for watching us. Let us know what you think. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe. And yeah, leave some comments and let us know. Uh, we'll leave our socials in the description, so check that out. And yeah, catch you guys in the next one. See you later. Peace.